We about to react to this. Mick Angelo. <clears throat> this song called Dear Leah, and it's the official video shot by Exclusive Productions. Got to turn the HD on. Dear Leah, if tears could build a stairway, I'll walk up to heaven and bring you back again. Love you, Fo E. Oh, I feel so bad. That sounded like poetry. I wonder if he used to write poetry back in the day or something, or if he still write poetry. Most rappers, I ain't gonna say most, but a lot of rappers used to write poetry before they started rapping. Like Gucci Man. Gucci Man admitted that he used to write poetry back in high school, but he never told nobody. And then that's what made him want to rap. And the same thing with Tupac. Tupac wrote poetry before he wrote raps. I like that scarf. Oh, what's wrong with me? She was young, man. Rest in peace. I remember 1999. I was seven years old. You know, I think I'll call my baby. For those who don't know, I did a song by him before, and I thought the song was fire. So I'm expecting this song to be just as good, if not, probably better. Salsa. See what the matter can be. Southside. Southside. Shout out to them Southside babies, man. I just did a song by a Southside rapper like an hour ago. So shout out to the Southside. Elijah, just pick up the phone. I'm missing your love and this human's been doing me wrong. I'm giving my art to the ones that expect me to fall. They got harder to call on my dog. The hoes that I loved in the past have been sneaking around me and dragging my heart through the yard. The ones that's around me got one time to slip. I'm not even the hiccup. I'm going for job. Like he rapping like, uh, it kind of reminded me of that DMV flow. If y'all ever listen to, um, Hood Rich Pablo Juan. He from Atlanta, but he got like a DMV flow. Or if y'all ever listen to like Zanman or uh, who else from DMV that rap like that? Uh, Gunu, rest in peace, Gunu. He kind of got that type of flow. Yeah, I can't take it no more. You leaving me dead on it. The bass. From DMV, he rap like that too. Earth made me hate it some more. They putting the load on his shoulder. I might try to find him some clothes of his heart on the floor. My mama been hating the fact that I'm riding dirty, but she know that the city been purged. But mama, I tell you, as long as I'm riding dirty, ain't a nigga or a bitch that can hurt me. Okay. Hey, I understand the whole concept of riding dirty, man, because if you keep it on you, you got a better chance at living. You got a higher chance of going to jail, but I'd rather go to jail than die. A gentleman Curtis is speaking this truth on this bitch. His vocals need surgery. Being disloyal, but acting like you being loyal to Saint. That's somebody that really love rap. He said, speaking the truth on this bitch until a nigga, until my vocals need surgery or something like that. That's somebody that's really true to their crap and really true to what they love with this rap shit. Or like singing if you sing. It's committing perjury. Acting like they never heard of me. Bitches my casual okay from the dirt where the turtles be using his tongue as a. Acting like they never heard of me. Bitches, my casual location. Mike Angelo. I call him Mick Angelo. I think he told me that before, too, that it's Mick Angelo. So shout out to me. I think he told me it's Mike Angelo. So yeah. Like microphone. Matter of fact, yeah, because in the DM, he said like microphone. So yeah, Mike Angelo, yeah. I think I said Mick in the beginning of the video. My apologies. From the dirt where the turtles been using this tongue as a bristle to paint a Picasso. You speak on the sub better mention. Me. Started to feel like these pussy niggas. I hear Dick Ryan just to fit in the pitch. They purping the boat, they making it bodies. They taking these pussies inside made a glitter. Civil spoon eaters ain't getting this shit out the trenches. That's why I can't buy with these niggas. I damn near got to the point where these niggas can't fuck with me. All I've been hearing is slither. I'm starting to flame in this bitch when my shit hit the speakers. They know when I'm speaking that ether. I can't be around all these people. I feel like they after me after them talk. 
with the reaper. They come in your life and start taking your kindness for witness. Got harder to separate. Hey, what he said about separating from leeches is important, man. Because when you getting money, a motherfucker gonna try to attach themselves to you, and they gonna try to leech on to you and suck all of your money out, your energy out. Damn, they snatch your soul, so to speak, because you at a place that they want to be. When my shit hit the speakers, they know when I'm speaking that ether. Huh? I can't be around all these people. I feel like they after me, after them talks with the reaper. They come in your life and start taking your kindness for witness. Got harder to separate leech. A laser just know it got harder to smash since you left because 25 plus follow with you. A laser just pick up the phone. I'm missing your love and this human's been doing me wrong. I'm his wigs remind me of Future, and I told him that in the DM. He had posted a picture on Facebook, and I had replied to the uh, to the story. And I said, bro, at first glance, I thought you was Future. Future wigs look very similar to his. I, the only difference is Future's wigs is blonde. His look green. His look like a bunch of different colors. It looked blonde, gold, brown, green, red. Like a little mixture of everything. Giving my art to the ones that expect me to fall. They got harder to call on my dog. The hoes that I loved in the past have been sneaking around me and dragging my heart through the yard. The ones that's around me. I think every nigga can relate to that. At some point in time of their life, a girl that they liked in the past treated them like shit. And them be the ones that you gotta stay away from the most. Cause they don't mean you no good. I want time to slip, I'm not even the hiccup, I'm going for jaw. Like lay, I can't take it no more. You leaving me dead on this earth, made me hate it some more. They putting the load on his shoulder, I might try to find him some closer. His heart on the floor. My mama been hating the fact that I'm riding dirty, but she know that the city been purged. But mama, I tell you, as long as I'm riding dirty, ain't a nigga or a bitch that can hurt me. He ain't lying, the city do be purged and shit, man. I love this beat, bro. This shit remind me of something from the South region of the world. Like, it sound like something UGK would have wrapped up of, or like Three Six Mafia. I like how he like mumbling the words to the song at the end. It's like he using his mumbles as an instrument to add on to the beat. I said the song is called Dear Aaliyah. My apologies. It's Dear Aaliyah, not Aaliyah. I thought that that was an L and not a J. Yeah, man. This is another song by Mike Angelo that I like a lot. The other one was hard. This one was hard. I think I like this one more because it, it was like, it had like a subject matter that was very relatable because we all lost loved ones, man. We all lost people that passed away. We all lost people that we love and care about. I've lost people in my life. I've lost friends, family members, uncles, my granny. You know what I'm saying? My mom. I lost a lot of people. So we all can relate to losing a loved one. And I feel like music like this I help people who are going through grieving and going through heartaches from death and things like that, man. So shout out to Exclusive Productions for shooting a, a great video. Shout out to Mike Angelo, man. Keep making music like this, that heartfelt shit that people can can listen to and relate to.